Hi everybody, I'm Stephanie Nelson from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns. Today we have a grooming video for our Angora rabbits. We're going to cover a couple different topics. We will start with trimming their nails. We're going to also show um, brushing your rabbit, removing mats, and the difference between scissors that are sharpened and scissors that need to be sharpened. So the difference between a pair of scissors that will cut nicely and a pair of scissors that is giving you grief. And we'll show you what we would we do with our scissors to keep them clean. So let's get started. We have Lightning with us today. Lightning has quite a bit of growth on his coat, a lot of length, and Lightning has a mat. So when the wool gets longer and starts dragging on the uh, on the wire, it starts picking up debris, and we do feed our our rabbits hay. And if we do not brush every area, or if we feed them hay, it doesn't take long for hay to get stuck in the wool and to have a mat form. So this mat is not a mat that's super close to the skin. This is like the ends of the hair, the ends of the fiber, and so we want to trim off. We want to trim the mat up and we have two different pairs of scissors. So these are, they're the same type of scissor, but there's two different pairs. So the first pair I have is a pair that needs to be sharpened. And so I'm gonna take the pair that needs to be sharpened and I'm gonna show how I know these need to be sharpened. So we are making sure we protect the eye. We go in and we clip. So we just trim some fur off that's obviously not matted. We're getting the area down. So I'm pressing down and I'm pressing pretty hard with these. This is not slicing through this easily. These are the scissors that need to be sharpened. It kind of makes a more of a ripping sound. It's not a nice slicing sound. When your scissors need to be sharpened, the, the sound they make when you cut them is not, um, it's not the same as a nice clean pair of scissors. So we're, gonna, we're trimming lightning anyways. So when we're taking this mat off, what you can see is it's in a common area where rabbits get mats. We know that this mat is just at the top because we can see there's a lot of fiber growth. There's a lot of fiber. It's not matted down to the skin. This is, some mats are matted down to the skin. They're like stuck right uh, it's almost like they're stuck right to the to the bunny. Those are harder and more difficult to remove because you have to be very careful of the skin and you always, if possible, you want to see where the skin is when you're cutting. So this mat, if I wanted to, I could just go like this and the mat's off because it's just at the tip and it leaves about a third of an inch of wool on him. So when we're cutting mats, we want to know where the skin is we want to use our, our hand. We don't want to use dull scissors. We want to use sharp scissors. So this is the difference. Here's a sharp pair of scissors. Much easier slice. I don't have to press down as hard on the sharpened scissors as I do with the scissors that need sharpening. So it matters when you are trimming your rabbit because if you can, if you can press down lightly and not have to really force the scissors down. It's easier if you start noticing something that maybe you're getting too close to the skin and you might nick your rabbit. If you have a nice sharp pair of scissors, you can just nice and gently trim the wool without having to really force down. And if I'm trimming the wool with this dull pair of scissors like this, I have to press down harder and it makes it more difficult if I all of a sudden notice, oh my gosh, I'm going to cut the skin because I'm already using so much force going down. Does that make sense? So here's the dull scissors. See, I'm cutting across. I'm going to cut a section. This is a normal section. I get to the end and see, the tip didn't even cut. See, look at that. This is how I know my scissors need to be sharpened. If you can go like that, and if you can clip, 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 and the scissors are not cutting the wall, sharpen the scissors. So, 
Here's an example of a pair of scissors that are nice and sharp. We're going to take the same thing all the way through. Less effort. This will help your, uh, your hands and your wrists if you get easily fatigued. If you have um, a lot of rabbits to trim, nice easy trim. This keeping your scissors sharp, make, sharp makes it more enjoyable. Let's look at that again. We have the scissors that need to be sharpened. We're going to take a chunk. Didn't cut the end here. Now we have the scissors that are sharp. We're going to show you the difference. Nice slice right through. So that is, thank you lightning, good boy. That's how you can tell. Now the scissors that I, the scissors that I use to, um, I didn't put any lotion on my hands, that's why the Angora is sticking to everything more than usual. The scissors that I use are, um, they're just like um, seven, eight dollar scissors, I think. They're not very expensive. Sharpening your scissors, you can just go to, you can go online, you can go to just any old uh, sewing store, you can go to any uh, big box store, they should have scissors sharp, scissor sharpeners if there's a sewing section or an, or an office section. What you do is you take the scissors, and these are made. Just like you're cutting the sharpener, you want to try to open them up to get the inside all the way to the tip of your scissors. Do that a few times, take a look, try practicing, try cutting with your scissors, see if they're the sharpness that you would prefer. Nope. Need to be a little bit sharper in there, a little bit sharper. Lightning's like, that's a weird noise. Try it again. Getting better. Let's see a couple more times. You really want your scissors to slice through the wall. There we go. That was a nice slice. Less effort on your hands. So that's how you trim a mat. That's how you sharpen. That's how you know if your scissors need to be sharpened. That's how you sharpen your scissors. The difference between a dull pair and a not dull pair. So let's take a look at this boy's nails. We have lightning on his back. Uh, we are leaning him over, leaning over him on the table. We have our clippers on the white nails. You can see there is pink. And then the pink stops and it turns to a clear color. Don't trim the pink, that's called the quick. Trim just above it. Try showing you again. So we're trimming, we're not trimming, there's a pink area. Don't trim the pink area, trim just above that. We've trimmed three nails out of the five on the front paw. I would be a little bit more cautious rather than aggressive in clipping nails. When a rabbit is younger, it's okay to leave the nail just a little bit longer rather than cut them on accident because they remember that. We have the other paw. If your rabbit will lay like this, that's excellent. Not all rabbits are comfortable just simply laying down like this. And in fact, for some rabbits, if you know your rabbit and you know that your rabbit doesn't like this, doesn't like, and it's not going to stay just simply laying on its back like this, then 
you may need to, we have a different, vid uh, different video with a different method of clipping nails. In that video, we show how you can, uh, by sitting on the floor and holding the rabbit between your knees, you can clip the nails safely as well. So we just trimmed both of the front paws for lightning. We don't trim the rabbit's fur on their feet all the time. Uh, however, for lightning, he didn't get it trimmed last time. We are going to trim a little bit of this off. Our perspective is we would rather keep uh, fur on the feet, not have sore hocks, than trim too much off the feet and have um, sore hocks. So we keep quite a bit of fluff on the feet because you can always you can always trim more fur off the feet. You can't put it. You can't tape it back on. These lovely fluffy feet. All right. We got the back nails to trim. There's not many to do. Just two left. Even though I turned the temperature down in the house, it's warm for this guy. Yeah, baby. All right. You can't even tell where I trimmed him up here. He's got so much wool. Where's the bunny? Where's the bunny? Where'd you go? I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was good, give it a thumbs up. That always gives us lots of love and support. If you want more videos, we do post videos on all sorts of different Angora topics and hit the subscribe button with the bell and that way you get notifications on our next video. Have a good day.